In the previous video we watched, we were introduced to probability trees. They were nice and helped us solve this game. Five marbles are placed in a bag, two red marbles and three blue marbles. The contestant will select one marble from the bag and without replacing it will choose another marble again. If both marbles selected are red, the person will win a prize. And the tree we came up with looked like this. Five branches for the first choice of marble, two red and three blue. But since we're not replacing that marble, now there are only four branches left for each second choice. And that looked like this. But what if I told you we could make this a bit easier and do an alternate version of a probability tree? Both of these will be correct, by the way, but many of you will find this second version much easier. Here's what I mean. What if we decided to look at it like this? For the first choice of marble, we can either get a red or a blue. That's it. There's no green, no yellow, just red or blue. And the probability of getting a red on the first choice is two out of five. And that's because out of the five marbles to choose from, there are only two red ones. So two out of five. And we can put that right here on the branch. And then for the other branch, the probability of choosing a blue marble, well, it must be three out of five, isn't it? Five possible marbles, but only three of them blue. Good, and we are done our first row. Then for our second branch of choices, just like the original probability tree we did, we just figure out the possible paths for each previous choice. So for instance, if we got a red marble first, then for our second marble choice, we could still get either a red or a blue, couldn't we? There is still one red marble left, so red is possible. And there are three blue marbles left, so obviously blue is possible as well. Red or blue, those are the two branches that could happen. And now, all we have to do is write down the probabilities for those. Since there are four marbles left, with only one of them being a red one, that means there is a one out of four probability of selecting a red marble second. And with three out of the four marbles being blue, that's a probability of three out of four. Nice, we are almost done our probability tree. Why don't you finish off the bottom half of the tree? You can do it. Just pause the video and when you think you've got it, you can resume to see how you did. Have fun. Okay, here's the second half. See how you did. Now, how does it work? That is, how do we use this to calculate probabilities? Well, if you wanted to figure out the probability of any one branch happening, like say a blue marble first and then a red marble second, then you would just multiply the probabilities along that branch. For instance, we want to know the probability of getting two red marbles. So that would be this branch here. And the probability of that happening is going to be two out of five times one out of four. To figure that out, when multiplying fractions, we multiply the numerators, or two times one in this case, which is two, and we multiply the denominators, or five times four, which is 20. And so our probability is two out of 20 which we can reduce to one out of 10 or 10%. 10 and if you remember, that is exactly what we calculated using the original probability tree. So both methods are correct, but many students find this way a lot easier. Both will work though, so either way, it's up to you. 